Okay. So number one, we can say total variable cost. Total variable cost with the name, it's very much clear that this is the cost which basically varies. So whenever the level of activity changes, total variable cost also changes. How? When the level of activity increases, total variable cost also increases. When the level of activity decreases, total variable cost also decreases in direct proportion to the level of activity. In direct proportion to <clears throat> level okay. of activity. What can be the example of this? For example, direct material cost. Now, if I want to do some production, let's say in January, I wanted to produce 1000 units and the raw material that I need to use to produce each type, each one unit or each unit is, for example, $2 per unit. So total raw material I need would be $2,000. Then for February, I decided to increase my level of activity to 2000 units. The raw material I need is same $2 per unit. So total cost will be $4,000. Then March, I further decided to increase my activity from 2000 to 3000 units. And the cost per unit is $2 per unit. So it will be $6,000. Now what is happening here? When the level of activity increases in from January to February, from 1,000 to 2,000 unit, the total variable cost also increases from $2,000 to $4,000. If you are going to plot these values on a graph, so this will give us a better idea. So zero axis. Then on X axis, we will plot the units. And then Y axis, we will going to plot the total cost. So units are 1000, then 2000, then 3000 and so on. Then on Y axis, the total cost, $2,000. $4,000, $6,000, $8,000, and so on. Now, if you are going to plot these values for January, first of all, so for 1,000 units, the total cost is $2,000. For February, total level of activity, 2,000 units, and the total cost is $4,000. Then for March, the total level of activity is 3,000 units and total cost is $6,000. If we are going to connect all these points, we will get a straight line between x-axis and y-axis. What this straight line between x-axis and y-axis shows it basically shows the direct relationship mm. between x-axis and y-axis. What direct relationship means? That when the level of activity increases, total variable cost also increases. When the level of activity decreases, total variable cost also decreases. Yeah. Play with this. These graphs are very important because examiner a lot of time they will going to give these graphs in exam questions and they ask you that what can be the cost or cost behavior or the example of cost clear with this so far yes sir any question sir i have a question with something that's written in the book about constant variable cost it says that the so my question is is this an assumption that they've written because it says um, constant variable cost, it means 
that price per unit uh, is constant and the rate of usage is also constant. Okay, just give me a reminder when we are going to finish these cost behavior, then because whenever we are going to conduct any sort of study or experiment, it will always going to have some limitations. You're talking about the limitations of cost behavior. So once we are done with uh, these cost behaviors, at the end, I will going to discuss that too. Clear? Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, then number two, <clears throat> variable cost per unit. Remember that variable cost per unit basically reacts differently as compared to total variable cost. Total variable cost increases when the total level of activity increases in a direct proportion. But variable cost per unit or variable cost of one unit will always remain constant. For example, in January, we decided to produce 1000 units and cost per unit of raw material is $2 per unit. And the total cost will be $2,000. In February, when we increase the level of activity, the cost per unit will also remain same, $2 per unit. But the total variable cost will increase to $4,000. Even in March, the variable cost per unit remains constant. So what does it show? For example, if we need one kilogram of raw material to produce one unit, and the cost of each kilogram is $2 per unit. So every time, whenever we are going to produce any product in our factory, each time we need one kilogram and the cost of one kilogram each time will be $2 per unit. Practically thinking, um, maybe if in January, I'm buying this one kilogram of raw material for $2 per unit, so over the number of months, this price will going to change. But this is our assumption that variable cost per unit, or this is a limitation we can say or assumption, that variable cost per unit will always remain constant. Mean, we will assume this thing that supplier will never going to change the prices. So if we're conducting a study on a data of three months, January to March, so this will be our assumption that supplier will not going to change its prices. So at the end, I will also going to discuss all the other assumptions as well. Okay, so now we know that whatever number of units we want to produce in any month, we need one kilogram of raw material and each kilogram will cost us $2 per year. So what is happening? When the level of activity increases, variable cost per unit, remains constant. Oh, yes. per unit. When the level of activity decreases, even then the variable cost per unit will remain constant. How the graph will look like? Again, zero level of activity between X axis and Y axis. On x-axis, I am plotting the number of units. On y-axis, now I am plotting variable cost per unit. Then the level of activity, 1,000 units, 2,000 units, 3,000 units, and so on. And here, I will be plotting the variable cost per unit, $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10, $11, $12, $13, $14, $15, $16, $17, $18, $19, $20, $21, $22, $23, $24, $25, $26, $27, $28, $29, $30, $31, $32, $33, $34, $35, $36, $37, $38, $39, $40, $41, $42, $43, $44, $45, $46, $47, $48, $49, $50, $51, $52, $53, $54, $55, $56, $57, $58, $59, $60, $61, $62, $63, $64, $65, $66, $67, $68, $69, $70, $71, $72, $73, $74, $75, $76, $77, $78, $79, $80, $81, $82, $83, $84, $85, $86, $87, $88, $89, $90, $91, $92, $93, $94, $95, $96, $97, $98, $99, $100, $101, $102, $103, $104, $105, $106, $107, $108, $109, $110, $111, $112, $113, $114, $115, $116, $117, $118, $119, $120, $121, $122, $123, $124, $125, $126, $127, $128, $129, $130, $131, $132, $133, $134, $135, $136, $137, $138, $139, $140, $141, $142, $143, $144, $145, $146, $147, $148, $149, $150, $151, $152, $153, $154, $155, $156, $157, $158, $159, $160, $170, $171, $172, $173, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $174, $
So what does it mean basically? That even if level of activity increases or level of activity decreases, the variable cost per unit will remain constant. But again, this is subject to some assumptions. The very first assumption is that we are assuming that supplier will not change the price of raw material in the time period when we are conducting this study. Clear with variable cost per unit? Yes, sir. Okay. 